Joining us now for a broader look at the market as well uh, as Wall Street gets uh, underway for its new week is uh, John Cadunas. He's the CEO of Calamosa Investments. Uh, Julian Emanuel, Managing Director and Chief Equity uh, and Derivative Strategist at BTIG. And what I love, I think, about this conversation is we have a bull over here. I think you're still bull. Are you back to being bullish again? 3,000 zero okay. price target. And I have defense playing over here, correct? Well, I'm cautiously optimistic. So what does cautiously <laughs> optimistic mean? I, I'm still bullish. I think we got a, a, a decent amount of run. Uh, left in this market, but I think we also have to protect ourselves from the downside because at some point, uh, going this guy's putting all his chips in over here. He's not. There's no defense over here, right? Three thousand at the end of the year no. is only eight points from where we are. So, it, so, so it's. I mean, if you look at it, we've been in a trading range for four months. Rates have gone up. Rates have gone down, uh, etc. The most interesting thing to us about the month of September is that you know we actually think that the bond bubble burst in the month of September. And what you've seen for the first time in quite some months are inflows into equities. And to us, that's the recipe for higher prices. Does the, does the Fed cut again? No. N not this year at all? Nope. I don't think they should, and I don't think they will. And what is that? But hold on. But that's been the basis of a lot of this run. And that's why I'm curious why you think, both of you, if you're even cautiously optimistic, think that the run will continue. Well, why would the, why would the Fed cut? If, if they think they need to spur the economy, they're going to cut, right? So if they don't cut, then they think things are well. They're going well. And I don't think they should have cut last time either. You don't? Look, what's if happened? they hadn't, what, where do you think we'd be? Well, I think it would be negative for a bit. But you've got to look at what has that done to Europe. Where are rates? Negative rates never really helps the economy. At the end of the day, right. you might get a little bit of a boost, but it's not really going to help the economy. So I don't think it was necessary. But there's a lot of pressure, and given the spreads versus the other parts of the world, they thought it was necessary to right. ease the market. But I don't see another cut. This optimistic plan of yours, what, is it, what does it entail? Uh, basically, if you look at it, <clears throat> the Fed raised their economic projections for next year above their long-run potential growth level. And at the same time, inflation is actually bumping uh, up towards 10-year highs. And so from our point of view, what you're going to see is the Fed, they're going to worry about the repo. We just talked right. about that. They're going to but provide... But what are you buying? What, what are you buying in this Financials. Environment? Absolutely financials. Higher rates are great for financials. So the value rotation continues. We think so. Okay. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Cautiously optimistic, but I'm defensive, buys what? Well, I think that you need to look at... Uh, uh, the different sectors that can take care uh, of this volatility. So right. I think what we have that's been doing really well is a market neutral, where you're hedged on the downside, but you have a lot of the upside. Convertibles do that a lot as well. Would you touch financials? Um, I think financials are okay. We like healthcare still. Right. We like technology, mostly in, in the software products. Okay. And uh, I think uh, some of the consumers. Uh, especially, I still so you're think defensive. You, I mean, you want to play defense, and yet you want to invest also in software, which has some of the highest multiples in this market at this point. Well, it's the way you invest in it, right? So okay. it's it's the type of products that you do, that you put it into. We're not talking just going long equities. the equity markets. We're talking about a hedged equity product. We're okay. talking about a market neutral. We're talking about a long short type strategies. So liquid alts is something that we've done really really well with in the last few years. In fact, we're one of the top three in liquid alts in the world. And we have the biggest liquid off fund market neutral in the world as of last month. And what that does is gives you a consistent return whether rates are going up or whether rates are going down. So the Fed could be doing anything that they want, but you're getting a good return and you're invested in the market. And that's something that we think is very important. And people shy away when they're scared, but we think you need to be in it, but you need to be in the proper stuff.